I've got this Mitsubishi here today. The owner of the car has been having some issues with the window regulator. So initially when it failed, uh, she took it to an auto electrician who opened it up, had a look and said, I can fix it for you, but you probably should just take it back to Mitsubishi because it's still under warranty. So the auto electrician put it back together and um, sent her on her way. She then took it to the Mitsubishi dealership and said, can I get this fixed under warranty? They uh, made her wait three hours, took the door card off, had a look inside and said, it looks like the regulator's been damaged, a bad repair from an accident and that it wasn't covered by warranty. Put the door card on, not properly by the way, they didn't screw it back into position. So then she took it to the panel shop where the repairs were done after an accident. They opened it up and said the fault couldn't be attributed to their repairs. Uh, nothing was done to the door and explained that it looks like somebody's tried to break into the car by shoving something down the side of the window. So this person understandably is feeling a little bit deterred by the experiences she's had so far. So I'm going to have a look inside. I'll take the door card off and have a close look at what can be seen in there. The first thing I want to mention is that the repairs that were done in the body shop were only actually done to this fender here. So now I'm going to open it up and see what's inside. So the story is with this, the cost of replacing the window regulator according to Mitsubishi is $1,700. Which sounds frightfully expensive to me. In here, this is the mechanism in question. And looking around in here, I can see no evidence anywhere that this door has had any repairs to the panel work. The only small sign of damage in the whole thing is this little mark on the insulation here and I would say that the most likely culprit of doing that damage is the window regulator itself if it became dislodged. I think that's probably the evidence that the panel shop is trying to say somebody tried to stick something down inside the window. But if anyone was going to try and break into this car by sticking something down inside the window if they knew what they were doing, they'd probably try to do it up in here. And if somebody had tried to stick something down there, I would expect to see some scrape marks on the window here, which I can't see anything of. What I'm going to do now is plug the window switch back in and operate it. just to see what happens. See if I can find that bent piece everyone's worried about. Okay, there it is right there. So this is the piece here which is actually damaged and you can also see the bend quite clearly now here as well. My interpretation of what has most likely happened 
one of these guides has popped out from that rail, made impact with the inside of the door skin up there. And that's what's caused this piece to bend. In any case, the fix for this will be to replace this small part here. The motor in the window winder, all of that sort of stuff is perfectly fine. With a temporary repair, the panel shop is done. It is kind of working okay, but it wouldn't take too much to damage that piece further, causing this to fail again. All right, back together. In my opinion, that Rindo regulator in this car is a little bit under-engineered. The metal that got bent is pretty flimsy when you consider it's got to lift the weight of this entire window. The electric motor part of the regulator is working perfectly fine. It's only the mechanism that keeps the window parallel that actually is damaged. And in talking to the user, I've also learned that the window actually drops down here at the front, which indicates to me that the front bearing fell out of that guide track. That small bit of damage to the insulation tape inside of the panel. Somebody's trying to say that's deliberate damage that's been done by somebody trying to break into the car. I'm just not buying that at all. So $1,700 to replace that flimsy bit of metal. What do you think? Put a comment there and let me know. Anyway, that's it for now. See you later.